Okay, here we go. My name is Mr. Vinoy. Welcome to our family karate class. This is for all ages and all levels. If this is your first time jumping in for a karate class, maybe joining a sibling or a, a child of yours, fantastic. Thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you guys can learn something. Hopefully at least you'll get up and get moving. Fam, I'm going to be joined today by my cousin Zoe. She's going to be helping me out with a lot of these drills. This is the family class designed for a group. So if you have somebody to do these exercises with, it will work a lot better. If you do them by yourself, they'll work just fine. We might just have to make a couple of adjustments, okay? All right, let's get ourselves warmed up. Sure. Come yeah. Starting off with jumping jacks, 20 jumping jacks, clap at the top and slap at the bottom. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, down with push-ups. 10 super awesome push-ups. Take your time and bend your elbows. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. When you're done, have a seat. 15 sit-ups. All the way down, all the way up. Again, take your time. Go your own pace. Ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. When you're done, butterfly stretch. Feet together, bring it in, and then bring your nose down to your toes. I would not recommend smelling. And relax. Put one leg in, one leg out. Reach up. You're gonna reach down with your front hand and then the other hand you wanna try and reach over top of your body. Reach towards that foot. If you can't grab it, that's okay. Reach as far as you can and grab your leg or if you can grab your toes, great. Grab the ball of your foot, whatever you can grab, grab a hold of it and don't let it go. And relax, other leg out, reach up, and down towards that foot. And relax. One more, both feet out in front. Reach up and down towards your toes. Again, if you can't grab them, no worries. Grab your pant leg, grab your legs, grab your ankles, grab something and hold. That way you're not bopping up and down. And relax. Let's go ahead and stand up. Okay, we're gonna get to work on some kicking skills now and then some drills working on our timing with those kicking skills. So first of all, let's just get warmed up with our front kick. And once you got right leg back finding stance, yeah. All right, front kick, we're bringing our knee up to aim, then snap and kick with the ball of our foot. What I want you to focus on today with your front kick if you haven't done this before, just get your knee up and then snap and kick with your foot. 
But if you're used to this kick already, I want you to really focus on pushing forward with your kick. We're trying to create space. So if somebody's coming towards us, somebody's trying to put their hands on us, we're pushing them away with the front kick. Ready? Front kick. Hana. Toe. Set. Net. Toss it. And kyote, switch feet. I'd like hana. Toe. Set. Net. Last one. Toss it. Excellent. Okay, so this part of class, you're going to need some kind of target. Now, if you have the store bought karate targets, fantastic. They do great. If you don't, that's okay. You can make do. Just grab any old pillow you have sitting around. Okay? So, how this is going to work, I want you to make a fighting stance. Hands up. She's going to be the kicker for this first round, and I'm going to be the target holder. Now, in this case, I'm just going to take the target and I'm going to attach it to my body like so. Now, if you're a lot bigger than your partner, don't kick too hard, especially if you have a thinner pillow. You, it can still hurt through the pillow if you're kicking as hard as you can. So your goal is just to make contact and touch with the correct part of your foot, okay? If you're the person holding the target, you're in charge. So if your partner's kicking too hard, you let them know, back off, okay? Don't hurt me, Zoe. All right, fighting stance. So I'm gonna start back out of her range. Try and do your front kick. Can you reach it? No. So I'm out of her range, I'm far back that she can't reach it, and I'm just going to step forward whenever I'm ready. When I step forward into her range, she's gonna throw that front kick just like so, okay? And she's gotta wait for just the right time. If she kicks too soon as I'm coming in, go ahead and kick, she's gonna miss. If she kicks too late, I'm too close, she's gonna have a hard time kicking, okay? So, as the person with the target, I'm going to start it easy. I'm just going to walk in each time she kicks. I walk in, she kicks, and we're just going to repeat that. Once she's getting the hang of it, then I can start trying to mix her up. So I might fake out, I might go really fast, or I might go a little bit slower. I'm going to try and make a challenge for her, okay? So let's go ahead and get set up, pick who's kicking first. If you're kicking on your own, just do the kicks in the air. If you want, you can also watch our timing here on the video and try and time your kicks with our steps, okay? All right, one minute on this left. Ready? And go. Hello, please. <laughs> Good, and time. All right, switch your feet, same person. Now the other leg is kicking. Ready? And go. And time, fantastic. Can I push that bed out of the way? Okay, switch it up. Now the other person gets a kick. If you've done this by yourself, or if you've recruited someone to help you out with this who's not actually doing the kicks, you get to go again. Okay? If you're a partner, go ahead and switch with that. So just hold on your belly, and then you'll take a step forward whenever you're ready. All right, ready? Fighting stance, and go. And time, switch your feet, same person. Ready? 
and go. And time. Okay, fantastic. So now we're gonna try a different kick. We can put the target down for now, and we're gonna work on our back kicks. Now, if you, you've done this before, and you know the spin back kicks, you can practice those, but we're also just gonna be working the looking back kicks today, okay? So we're gonna be kicking back away from us. Let's actually do this. You can face me, Zoe. Okay, so hands up. We want to practice our back kicks. I'm going to be kicking behind me, and Zoe's going to be kicking behind her. So for the back kick, we're going to look first and see our target. Then we're going to throw the back kick. Whichever way I look, that's the way I'm kicking. So if I'm looking with my right shoulder, I will kick with my right leg. If I look over my left shoulder, I kick with my left leg. So let's try 10 back kicks, looking over our shoulder and kicking that way. Ready? Hold up. Do a little kick the other way. Two. Set. Switching sides every time. Net. Toss it. Yas it. Ugo. Yudo. I hope. Last one. Yo. Okay, excellent work. Now, again, if you know the spin back kick, facing your target, turn, look, kick, you can practice that one as well. Either one is fine. So let's grab the pillow. So I'm gonna practice that same drill. Be careful. Let's take this one a lot slow because we're kicking over our shoulder. It's hard to see where we're kicking. Focus and make sure you're actually kicking the pillow and not your partner, okay? So she's gonna turn backwards to the target. She's gonna look ahead of time. Her eyes are on the target, she can see it. And when it comes in range, she's gonna throw that back kick. Again, take it a little bit slower as the person with the target. Don't be moving too fast because they might kick you by mistake, okay? All right, back kick, same drill. Start out of range and then walk towards your partner. 30 seconds on one left. Ready? And go. Same like now, we'll do 30 on this left. Good and time. All right, switch your feet out of left. If you're doing the spin back kick, you might be finding this quite challenging, okay? Just do your best. You wanna start your turn as soon as you see the kick, or as soon as you see the target come up. All right, other left, same person, ready? And go. There we go, right in the middle. And time, switch with your partner, other person's turn. Fighting stance, and go. So I'm gonna do the spin back kick, so yep, back up just a little bit. I'm gonna spin, go ahead when ready. And time, switch with your, uh, switch your feet. Same person, other left. Ready? And go. 
Good, and time. Excellent work. So obviously a little bit different with the back kick, a little bit more challenging, okay? Both of these kicks, the front kick and the back kick, are great get away from your kick. So if somebody's too close to us, we can push them back with the front kick, we can keep them away with the back kick. Both of those kicks are great for that, okay? All right, now we we'll move on to some other kicking skills. This time, trying a different drill to practice our timing on our kicks. So for this one, we'll work our roundhouse kick. So let's review that kick real fast. Some attention, lay leg back, yeah. So for a roundhouse kick, my leg is gonna come up and around, kicking across. Make sure this kick is with the top of the foot. And again, make sure it's coming across. We have a tendency to kick upward because that's the way our leg likes to bend easily. So like a front kick, we don't want this to go upward. We want our kick to come around this way. Huh? All right, here we go. Right leg back, roundhouse kick. Hana. Toll. Set. Net. One more, toss it. And kyote, switch, other leg. Hana. Toll, set, net, last one, toss it, excellent work, okay, let's grab the pillow, okay, for this drill, we're going to be working out timing, for this drill, you have to make sure you set this up correctly so that nobody or nothing is going to get hurt. So the way this drill is going to work is I'm going to hold the target up as high as I can. And then I'm going to say three, two, one, drop. And I'm going to drop the target. Her goal is to kick it out of the air. Now, before you start kicking, make sure this is set up in a good spot. Where is this target going to go when she kicks it? Is it going to go over here in the hallway? Okay, I think we're good. Watch out and make sure you're not setting the target towards anything fragile towards anything that's gonna break, right? Set this up correctly, okay? Also, again, make sure you're not kicking up like a front kick because you might kick the target up into the ceiling. Hopefully no lights, pictures up there, anything gonna break, right? So, make a fighting stance. First, I'm just gonna watch her do the kick. Go ahead and do your kick. So she's kicking with her left leg here. It's coming around. I should be able to figure out that the target's gonna go this way. Okay, we look good. All right, fighting stance. One person for 30 seconds. On your marks, get set, and go. Three, two, one, go. Ah, this one's challenging, isn't it? It might take you a couple times to get your timing right. Three, two, one, go. That's it. Now, if you have a big heavy pillow, it might not go anywhere. That's okay, too. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. That's it, you're getting it. Three, two, one, kick. Oh, nice one. I think we're gonna keep going for this one. Same leg. We're just gonna go for a minute each side. This one will spend a little bit longer with time. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Home run. <laughs> Good, and time. All right, switch your feet, same person. So if she's kicking with the other leg, show me the other leg. Yeah, kick. The target's gonna go this direction. Oh wait, that's where I have the camera. I don't want that kid to, to get hit. So we're doing this. We're gonna switch our spots here. We're gonna stand on that side. All right, show me your right leg kick. And now it's going this way 
the direction where it's not going to break anything. Okay. So again, make sure you set this up to the target you're kicking isn't going to break anything. Other leg, same person. Ready? And go. Three, two, one, kick. Nice. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. Oh, nice one. Three, oops. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. Can move this way just a little bit. Right there. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. Nice. Three, two, one, kick. And time. Okay, now switch up with your partner. Other person's turn to kick. So you can hold that. So I'm going to kick with my right leg first. So it's going this way. So go on. Just like that. Okay, here we go. Other person kicking. If you're by yourself, you get to go again. On your marks, get set, and go. Three, two, one. Three. Two, one. Three, 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 two, one. Good, and time. All right, switch your feet, same person. Remember, set up so you're not going to hit anything with the target. Ready? And go. Three, two, one. 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 Okay, and time. Good work, everybody. So, hopefully those drills gave you some different ideas to do with your kicking skills, different ways to practice your kicks, especially if you have somebody who can help you train. It's always a whole lot easier to get out and train if you have somebody doing it with you, okay? So, I'm going to finish off with some conditioning. We're going to do a fun exercise that's going to be challenging. Okay, I feel like we've done this one before. You're going to lay on your back, feet facing that way. Feet facing that way? Yes. And then, so one person is on their back, feet facing away from the partner. I'm going to stand right next to her without stepping on her hair. You can grab my ankles for support. Her job, she's doing the exercise, I'm just going to help. She's going to keep her legs straight and keep them off the ground about six inches. Perfect. Then she's going to bring them all the way up, and I'm going to push them back down. She's going to bring them all the way up, and I'm going to push them back down. Good, relax. Every time I push him back down, her goal is to keep them off the ground so that they don't touch. She's got to keep her legs up for the whole 30 seconds, okay? As the person pushing, the harder I push, the more challenging it is. 
to start off easy. If your partner wants more, if they think this is too easy for them, then you can push hard, okay? All right, 30 seconds, and then we'll switch and the other person gets to go. Ready? Get set, and go. Okay, push. There we go. Working those core muscles. That was gonna help with your kicks too. You really wanna mix it up, you can push to one side. And time, man, well done. You kept it off the ground the whole time. I right, switch it up. If uh, so the same person wants to go again, they can go again, obviously. Okay. I'm gonna go in my turn. That's just for other people. So if the same person wants to go again, feel free to go again, or you can switch up with your partners. Okay, 30 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, fantastic job, everybody. If you're working with a partner, go ahead and face them in attention. Sure, yeah? Bow, say, come up, Sumida. That's how we thank our partners for working with us. Face us, sure, yeah? Yeah? Come up, Sumida. Put your right hand up. Wow, tongue two and three. Hana, tool set. Tongue su. Thanks for playing, everybody. Keep working hard, and we will see you next time.